Oh, hello. Happy. Happy night time. Happy night time. What am I doing? Welcome, friends. Welcome, friends, to the late night show with the Turkey Lakester. This is Drumsticks After Dark. This is a new uh, stream I'm doing. Um, hi, Tina. There I am. I am. <clears throat> this is an official launch, even though it's uh, called the An Experiment Stream. I'm going to change the title and take away that. But um, anyway, this is a late night, the late night Turkey Lakester show um, that I'm going to do. Um, it'll be one, no more than once a week. And it will be around this time, probably closer to right at 11. And it might be on Sunday. It might be on Monday. It might be on... Um, it won't be on Tuesday or Thursday since I already go live on those days. But uh, any of the other nights, probably not Saturday. Um, but the reason... <clears throat> reason I'm trying this time slot out is because there's some nights I'm just, um, I'm just not that tired. And, um, so I'm going to talk about this on my other streams, announce it, hopefully with time I get more people in. Tina, I know you're in, uh, here and, um, uh, Sunday, generally, there's no one else live um, at 11, at 11 um, Eastern Time. <clears throat> so, um, the first several weeks, um, uh, I may not be... Uh, consistently on Sunday, but it seems like either Sunday or Monday are the top two candidates, and then I might just plan on maybe having, you know, that be in the night, but at the uh, same time, I don't really want to plan and schedule a stream um, because I may end up being tired and have to cancel it. So be probably, um, you know, for the next several weeks, you know, let's say through March, uh, anyone watching the replay on this, you see it, you're like, when did Dean go live? Um, I'm going, this is a little bit after 11 on Sunday, the 26th of um, February. And um, this is Drumsticks After Dark, and this is a new thing. So this is a, a opportunity, a kind of a thing. I'm going to go live at later, later in the night. Um, of course, it's not as late if you're um, less east than I am. As you go west across the country, um, you know, it's not as late. So I could have some friends popping in from um, the Pacific Coast um, or, you know, in between there. But um, anyway, it's going to just be... A, I don't really have a lot planned uh, for this stream. It's going to be pretty random. It's going to be, I may talk about, I may have some, there may be some, this may be the place where I get into some Dean rants uh, about things. Maybe we'll break out some Disney news here and there. Um, I'll try to have 
a storybook and maybe maybe towards the end uh i will woo us to sleep with um a bedtime story um tina likes random rants i could rant i could probably rant about anything uh, especially if we're talking about Disney, several things Disney's doing right now. That I could just, I could just kind of go on and on about, um, you know. So um, pick a topic, any topic, basically, and uh, I could, I could like probably get into it. Um, let's see. Tonight, I've also got here. I've got this book still around. Maybe we could uh, read about some different characters. Uh, so I can do that. I can read a story. Um, I brought my... I brought my Disney Trinkety... My Trinkety... Dean's Disney Trinkety Things. This tub we could get into here. It's not exclusively Disney. There's some other theme parky things. I could dig through here and we could see what kind of treasures I've got here and uh, maybe uh, reminisce about it. I have the link ready. Uh, I could send out the link. We could, um, I could take a phone call. Uh, we could uh, talk live or we can just chat. Actually, let's, let's not do the phone call. Let's not do the phone call. Um, I'll put it over here. But I have this. I could send the link out. If anyone's interested in coming on, I am I can send that out. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? <clears throat> Jennifer, I just watched the... Uh, my mouse is frozen. There it is. My wireless mouse. Um, I just watched your video, Jennifer, of the uh, Grayson, the piano player there on uh, in front of Casey's. What a great talent uh, that is. It's a fun, fun thing. Um, oh, I have updated, by the way, uh, I have updated my, on my, the front, the front of my uh, YouTube channel. I have updated that. Um, and I have expanded my Friends of the Turkey Legster channels. And Jennifer, I have added you into uh, one of my featured channels there. Um, so anyone watching, uh, Jennifer Caruso's got a great channel. She does Disney. Um, she was in the Bahamas a few weeks ago at the Atlantis uh, Resort. I absolutely, I watched the live stream. I'm still trying to get around to watching that vlog, Jennifer, but the Atlantis Resort in the Bahamas, um, it looks kind of like... Um, someplace I would like to go someday, to be honest. Um, but that was, that was a very fun, very fun, uh, very fun, um, live stream and incredible place. But, um, but yeah. And, um, so anyway, I, um, Why don't we let me pull out my Disney tub? We can look at my treasures. This is appropriate for this week. Coming up on Wednesday. Hi, Amy. Welcome in. This is my new late night, kind of my late night thing. Amy was just live on uh, some Disney trivia. I may or may not have gotten some of them some of those i realized watching your stream amy i'm pretty sure all the movies that were the court your questions were about um i need to watch those again 
I don't watch things a lot these days. And, um, yeah. So anyway, The Mandalorian, speaking of watching things these days, The uh, Mandalorian's going to be on. Uh, Mandalorian Season 3 is coming out on this Wednesday, the March. Oh, I got eight questions right. Okay. Awesome. Anyway, this is a magic towel. I picked this up at the dollar dollar store, and um, I may actually go ahead and put it in water, open it and put it in water, um, and have it spread out, um, and maybe show it on Tuesday. Tuesday night, um, I'm going to talk about The Mandalorian, maybe get into um movies um disney plus news maybe look at upcoming upcoming shows that are coming up or just came out um here's another magic towel i've got from the dollar store buzz and woody toy story movies i have not seen those in a while toy story 5 if we want a dean rant we can I can get going on Toy Story 5 and the sequels that are coming out. Uh, Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Another magic towel there. Something else I got at the Dollar Tree. Frozen 2 Lip Smacker. I never smack my lips. But it's got Olaf on it. I could start smacking for Olaf. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I have got a birthday pin here. There's a birthday button. Um, I have the newer one that they do, the, the green one. Or not the green one. It's a, um, do I have it in here? It's like a light green, like a light green uh, color one. Or is it the green one? I don't have it here. Anyway, this is the one. I got this one. This would have been 2009 is during the years they were um, handing this out. And um, so I've still got this one. And I've probably got the newer one around here somewhere. Here is an empty Disney gift card. Fun. This is the um, All Four Parks 50th Anniversary Disney gift card. If you want an easy, here's what I did. I've got several of these gift card designs that I ordered online. So here's a tip. If you want kind of an easy um, Disney um, like souvenir, collectible kind of thing, fun thing to have. Go on Disney, the gift card site. What is it? DisneyGiftCard.com. And they have so many gift card designs. What I did was I had money that I had saved that I knew I was going to spend at Disney. And so I just went on DisneyGiftCard.com. Um, and I ordered like, I think eight, between six or eight of these gift cards. And I just put like 25 bucks on them. And I ordered, uh, you know, all those gift cards. And, um, I just, I took these to the parks and just, you know, used them for what I was buying, food, um, merch, and things and so once you are done with the card don't throw it out and you've got this fun uh fun disney design thing um just you know that you can keep and hold on to and it's a lot of fun to keep those they've got so many designs um i think i've got some other ones here I'll give one second 
they are behind here. I've got a couple other ones that I... <laughs> Perfection. Okay. Now, here I'm back. Let me readjust here. I didn't want you to look at my keyboard. It's not a bad keyboard. I just didn't want to... Anyway, here's in the other another gift card. This is at zero, but it's a cool card. R2D2 and C3PO. Very fun. Star Wars. This one is kind of it's a non 50th design. It's got all of the park logo like logos there. Mickey Mouse there. Sorcerer and Mickey there. So that's a fun. They're all at zero, and I can't do anything with them. And they're not reloadable, as far as I know. Um, but anyway, um, um, anyway, they're they're you know, if you want an easy, if you're gonna be spending cash, you want an easy kind of a secure way. It's also for security. It was also for security as far as um, having money, spending money at the parks, and you don't have to worry about your debit card being locked out of, you know, because I had that happen too on a visit. I used, tried using my debit card to buy my turkey leg, and my debit card, there had been a fraudulent transaction on my account and thank goodness my bank caught it and shut my and you know blocked my card um but i fortunately i had cash with me so i was able i was able to get my turkey leg thank you lord i was able to get my turkey leg that day i had to cancel the the um the float that they had there at the Epcot, the fife and drum there. They have a, um, I forget what it's called. It's like the American dream float or something. And it's got like red, white, and blue. And that visit, you know, just because of the whole thing, I had to cancel the float on my order. Um, but I was able to pay for, my turkey leg and my bottle of water which was awesome because it was a warm day as it usually is um so that was good that was really good jennifer oh your son does that the same thing with the gift cards yeah i think it's i think it's just a great tip um just for having the souvenir aspect of it and then the like this the um the whole thing with the debit card and I, you know, having your case there, you know, something happens with your, you know, your account, um, you know, and just using your card in a public place, that is a very real concern, especially in this day and age. So anyway, yeah, so I've got those designs. I've got a few other designs I picked up this recently sometime last year I think this was the postcard pack 10 postcards I've actually seen this in a few different spots around Walt Disney World but this is the um, or Disney parks but it's all these are Walt Disney World So these were, this packet was, I don't remember. It was either 20, somewhere between maybe 20 or $25, maybe not quite. It might have been like closer to 15, somewhere between 15 and 25. Uh, if anyone else has this, um, let me know. I'm thinking it's anywhere from 15 to 25 bucks for the uh, 10 
10 postcards. We've got Mickey Mouse in front of the 50th castle right there. It would have been great if he'd have had his um, the 50th outfit, but um, this is good too because after the 50th, you've got Mickey Mouse and you've got Minnie Mouse and her polka dot. Polka dot garb there looking all pretty like she does very well. Then we have the tree, the animal kingdom tree of life, and that reflection down there of that. Very awesome, very awesome. And then we have the Tower of Terror. Tower of Terror. Never been on this ride. I hear it's good, even though it's got its ups and downs. Um, here is Castle. This looks like um, this looks like the uh, traditional castle. Not the fiftieth. I don't know. It's it's at night. I can't really tell. Actually, yeah, because it doesn't have the fancy uh, the fancy uh, bling on the side there. Then we have this is an image of old. Old Epcot. Hey, Noah, welcome in. Yeah, Amy, these are very nice. These are very nice. These, um, we've got Epcot with the stones here. The uh, Leave a Legacy um, entrance here. Shot of the monorail going, going by there. And uh, there... This is so much. This is fun right here. Two chipmunks, Chip and Dale. Chip and Dale. Good shot there. In front of the Town Square Theater. Here's another shot of... Hey, Mark, welcome in. Yeah, this is a, um, it is a late night. This is a uh, new thing for me because I'm, sometimes I am up late looking for um, someone, anyone, want to watch anyone late. And so I decided, well, why don't I just go live and see who pops in. So this may not be on Sunday. It may end up being on Monday. But Sunday seems like a pretty good night to, you know, go live at a later hour. So, yeah, that was Mickey and Minnie. Um, I probably won't be still up in two hours. Uh, what time is that exactly, Mark? That's what, two hours? So that's what, 12, 1.30-ish Eastern. There's Pluto, Goofy, and Pluto. Fun there. They're in Dino Land. Fun pose there. One forty-five. I will likely not be still live. I'm probably gonna um, not go much later than uh, midnight. But um, there's the Disney. What is this? Disney Springs. The Disney Springs Tower. Fun um, inclusion there into the stack of. 
host cards. And then here we are back at the first one. Mickey Mouse, front of the castle. Fun collection. It was, it was great to get those out. It was great. Now I gotta remember how this goes back. So that's a fun collection of postcards there. Yeah, Mark will be up. Mark will probably be up. I know that. Mark and Irene, you guys are uh, in Florida right now. And you're... Um, enjoying our unique winter weather. This is fun. This is, so this, I won't show the front because that is, um, it's got my address. This is, I ordered this on the Disney website way back in, it had to have been maybe 2009 or 2010 around then, but you could go on the uh, Disney website and you could um, request a custom map of, of the parks for your trips. And I'm not seeing a letter, a uh, year. But um, anyway, it includes on the back side of this kind of a letter they write to you. And then here it is, they have one map that is all of Walt Disney World right here. All like everything. They've got Magic Kingdom up there. Uh, you can see Epcot down there. Where else? One second. The um, Disney Springs is over here. Of course, I think when I ordered this, this wasn't even. This was it was still Downtown Disney at that point. I'm thinking this was in the late 2000s when I ordered this there they don't have a year on he, listed on here but basically it's the whole property and then you can go through you could go through like each park uh, the other parks and um, um Select your favorites. So here's so here is I um, I went and I I did that circle at the top because up there is different. I probably should not have done that, but anyway, this is the old Magic Kingdom. You've got Mickey's Toontown Fair up there. You've got um. All the lands there. There's Magic Kingdom. Let's see. Noah, I have... I've got some a couple of those uh, Burn Bomb books, actually. I have to grab those for a future stream. Um, I got the 2019 one for Walt Disney World. I got the, the um, Disneyland... Um, one for in 2019 and then I got the 2022 one uh, edition for for the uh, the burn bombs but my um, so the attractions that I listed as my favorites on here are the Walt Disney World Railroad 
And at this time, this point in time, they had stops in Frontierland, Mickey's Toontown Fair, and Main Street USA. Hey, Dave, welcome in. Um, Jungle Cruise, Pirates of the Caribbean, Liberty Square Riverboat, It's a Small World, Peter Pan's Flight, Mickey's Feel Her Magic 3D Spectacular, um, Snow White's Scary Adventures. They still had that. Um, at this point in time, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, The Tomorrowland Transit Authority, also known as the People Mover, Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress, Buzz La and Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin. And I could have selected more. Um, uh, oh, they list wishes on here. They still had the wishes show. Who remembers wishes? Wishes is I wish they would wish they would bring back wishes. Um, that was a great. I love the soundtrack, and I actually own it on. Um, CD. You can also find it on YouTube. There's a few like videos, several videos you can find of the, the uh, soundtrack of the Wishes show. But um, anyway, then they list, they have a few suggestions over here. Those are my favorites that I selected. Then they have suggestions here. They have Splash Mountain. Haunted Mansion, Dumbo, The Flying Elephant, Space Mountain, Monsters Incorporated, Laugh Floor, The Wishes, Nighttime, Spectacular. Then they have some, uh, all the other attractions that I didn't um, select under the even more fun over here. Excuse me, they've got the Main Street vehicles. Um, well, they've got all the other, everything else. I'm not going to read everything. So anyway, then we've got Dumbo ride was near. Yeah, Dumbo was Dumbo was um no, Can you see? I've actually got an older park map. It'll be easier to to look at that on there. But then I've got Epcot over here. Epcot, of course, the World World, the World Showcase is going to look. Oh, that's really cool, Jennifer. Fun. Yeah, wishes and happily ever after. I would love if they would come, you know, bring back wishes like the show. Like, I wouldn't even mind if they added like some projections to the castle still with the same soundtrack and you know kind of if they need to like update it a little bit but if they use the same soundtrack then then yeah would be great and so there's epcot you've still got over here you've still got universe of energy is one of my favorites. Spaceship Earth is one. Universe of Energy Pavilion featuring Ellen's Energy Adventure. The Seas with Nemo and Friends. The Land Pavilion. Um, Imagination Pavilion. Norway Pavilion. China Pavilion. The USA Pavilion. France Pavilion. Canada Pavilion, all the pavilions. Um, those are the ones I selected as my favorites. And they've got suggestions here. Mission Space, Test Track, Epcot Character Spot, the Mexico Pavilion, and this is, they still have Illuminations, Reflections of Earth on here. And then they've got all of the other uh, the other pavilions that were not listed. 
Um, they still had the Kim Possible, the kids uh, Kim Possible World Showcase Adventure. Um, um, no, Tina, this was not the original uh, imagination. This would be the still be the um, the current one that we have we have today. Uh, this would have been this would have been in the late 2000s that this would be as of I'm thinking because 2009 to 2010 is when I last had my pass and so that's probably when I was kind of looking at the parks and everything so I'm um, the um, imagination the original imagination went away if I remember right it was around 2000 ish and um, they updated it once and they had the audacity to not include figment and so um, oh no worries Jennifer yeah you've had it you uh, you ran the other day and then you were at um, Disney for a couple of days so no worries um, you were at Disney Springs um, jamming out and dancing up a storm down there I need to get to Disney Springs at night I'm having car trouble, truck trouble right now. Um, there's been kind of different delays. Um, my truck needs it. I've got the parts. Um, anyway, I won't go into that right now. But once my truck gets fixed, I'll try to, I'm going to try to get down to Disney at some point. And I only have the Pixie Dust Pass. So I can only go to the parks during the week, which is fine, but I'll have to um, get there, get down to Disney Springs uh, when they have the, um, have entertainment happening. So, so now I, when I got to um, Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom, I forgot to go through and select my favorites. That's why I've got some highlighted uh, things here. I the, the maps came. They still sent you the maps of the parks. So Animal Kingdom. This is actually before Pandora. So we've still got. Hold on. You've still got Camp Mini Mickey over there. That's where Pandora is now. That is true, Jennifer. It is, it is, it is. And um, trying to think what else they have changed. So besides um, putting in Pandora over here, Animal Kingdom is pretty much, you know, the same, the rest of it. Of course, they're, um, hopefully, they're doing something over here with Dino Land. Um, I could talk, that could be a Dean rant on another, another night, but, um, I'll have to like list the things I could just, we could like talk about and rant. Um, so on the flip side, we've got Disney's Hollywood Studios. This has changed. I'd have to get two different, two park maps of like the new, um, Hollywood Studios and the old one. They've still got the stunt show, the backlot tour, all of the streets over there by um, you know, uh, the Streets of America over there. So that area is still um, you know, that the way it was. And, um, so, 
Yeah, no, I'm. Yeah, I could I did like go into that. I'm not going to like go into that whole how I'm feeling about Animal Kingdom, but um basically I don't know. I don't know. I just got so many thoughts. So many rants, so little time. Definitely it won't be tonight, but I will I can um do that. So anyway, um, that's the uh, Hollywood Studios map. Where are we, are we on time? 40 minutes in. Well, I might go a little past midnight if you all are up. If I see people start dropping off. But this is definitely, this m packet of maps is definitely a keeper. Something I'm going to keep around. Because this was like, uh, you know, back, there's, you know, attractions, the shows on there um, are all from, basically, you know, from like, like nothing is the, the same. I mean, well, they had Fantasmic at uh, Hollywood Studios. But even that's been updated recently. This is cool. They used to do Night of Joy at the Magic Kingdom. And um, have a good night, Amy. Thanks for popping in. Um, have a great week. So this was Night of Joy of 2001. Night of Joy, they would bring in a whole lineup of Christian music artists. And they did this. Disney did this up until... I want to say 2018 is when they stopped, if I remember right. Um, they actually, it started in Magic Kingdom for so many years. Then they they took it over to the um, they took it over to the ESPN World of Sports. I think it was in Hollywood Studios for a couple of years, maybe. And then they brought it back to Magic Kingdom for the last couple of years. But anyway, as you can see there, I went in 2001. And the really special thing about this, really interesting thing about this is, um, you can see it was September 7th and 8th of 2001. It was the weekend before September 11th. And um, this guy here, uh, Michael W. Smith, who's a popular Christian artist, he um, he was playing some music. He played some music off of a worship album that was going to be coming out on Tuesday. And um, it was obviously no one knew at the time what was going to happen on the 11th, you know, beforehand, but it was kind of, it's just a neat, me and a really interesting memory that I've got that um, I actually, you know, remember, you know, before the events of September 11th happening, hearing, you know, about, um, hey, Russ, oh, you did. Interesting. But anyway, it was kind of an interesting memory that I've got because I remember Michael W. Smith talking about his worship album that ended up coming out on September 11th and um, it turning out that that was ended up being, you know, in the coming days and weeks and months, the music of that record just being speaking to people in the face of what had um, happened so um, and I have that rec I have that uh, CD but um, so uh, yeah so they have the park map and then they've got all of the stages around Magic Kingdom they had one in basically all of the lands except for Fantasyland and Liberty Square okay they had, 
they had a stage in the castle, in front of the castle. They had um, Adventureland. They had Tomorrowland. Okay, so now there wasn't one in every land. But anyway, that was a fun night. Uh, we went on a few rides. I went with my dad and one of my brothers. And um, that was a fun night. Let's see that. Oh, that I will show on another stream. Here is a map of New Fantasy Land in the Magic Kingdom. I've got this. See what wonders await. And it's got the castle and the beast there. So inside it says, Live Disney stories like never before. A fantastical land thought forever concealed was hidden away, but now is revealed. So come ride under the sea with Ariel. Be part of a story with Belle. Enjoy a feast in Beast's castle. Explore a circus as well. Come join us for the music, the enchantment, and the laughter. And be part of New Fantasyland for happily ever after. And so here's a fancy, this fancy um, artwork of New Fantasyland here. Um, and I feel like this is um, more like the concept art. And this is, a, yeah, this is definitely actual, the uh, actually the like more concept art, kind of the blue sky thing. Um, not actually what you ended up with, but this is fun. This was a lot of fun that I found this. I don't remember where I got this. Um, I don't think I got this at Disney. It might have been, you know where I got this? I got this at, um, I think at the rest stop on your way back into Florida on I-95. They had um, the Welcome Center. They had a whole wall of park maps and things because I've got this one too, which is Four Parks of Fun Guide. And this is sounding familiar. See on the back, they've still got Downtown Disney. Um, probably, and it probably is, because the more I'm talking about it, the more I'm, I'm remembering. Um, and even here on the, uh, Magic Kingdom page, it's, uh, it mentions New Fantasyland. So anyway, yeah, this is... Really fun, fun keeper. So let's see. Oh, they still have Disney's Fast Pass. They have Disney's Photo Pass with picture, the little image of the actual, the actual Photo Pass, the little card. I never got actually have had Photo Pass, but uh, I remember seeing people, you know, whipping out the the Photo Pass to actually scan it. That was, you know, pre um, pre Magic Bands. Um, and then they've got the, um, how to do Disney's Fast Pass. It says, Fast Pass service is easy to use and can cut the wait time on some of the most popular attractions and it's included in your Walt Disney World theme park admission. Uh, and it says you put your theme park in and the receipt comes out. And you come on back, and it's time to ride. That is true, Russ. 
uh, we're coming up on, isn't it like 10 years this year that it's been open? I think it opened in like 2013, so now it's uh, this year, yeah, 2023, it's, it's 10 years old now. So, and that was the last time they really did a major, major, um, like, expansion of Magic Kingdom. Tron, Tron is an expansion, but it's just one attraction. So, it's not, you could call it an expansion, but it's really just an addition, an attraction. Um, so, anyway... It's the all-in-one, all-inclusive for parks of fun. Ooh, speaking of the old fast passes. Yes, the old paper fat fast passes. So here's my stack of fast passes. I have them. Ooh, this is a transportation card. Did does anyone have any of these? Um, I got this card. I was in line at the monorail station. And the cast member whipped this out of, out of her, uh, her pocket or wherever and was, um, gave me the uh, monorail card. And this is the only one of these that I've ever gotten. So I don't even know if they have them anymore. But apparently there's 18 total. And there's some did you knows on here. Did you know each six car monorail train has a length of 203 feet and six inches and an overall height of 10 feet and 5.5 inches. There are 12 monorails in the fleet and the maximum speed of a Walt Disney World monorail is 40 miles per hour. So anyway, yeah, there's, and there's it says here there's a total of 18 Walt Disney World transportation cards, including watercraft, monorail, and buses. Yeah, probably it's just stickers now. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. So I'm actually glad I've got this card. But back to the passes, fast passes. Got all these paper fast passes because I would go get a fast pass, I would get a return time, and I just forget I had it. And then, like, I'm leaving the park, going home, and I find this in my pocket or my wallet later. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I was gonna go back and ride Peter Pan's flight. So I did this one, two, three four, five, six, seven times. Two of them on Toy Story Midway Mania. So, I did that once on Peter Pan's flight. I did that on Jungle Cruise once. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. The Voyage of the Little Mermaid, and twice on Toy Story Midway Mania. But, good thing is, I've got these to sort of remember the uh, bygone era, if you will. And then this last stack of things... Okay, here is probably Russ, and I don't apologize for that. I went, so 2009 was the year they were uh, giving you 
a free day's admission to any park on your birthday. So this was the card. It says ticket valid for one day, one park may be only uh, may, may only be used on celebrant's birthday in two thousand nine. Please sign here for identification purposes, but they don't have anywhere to sign, so I didn't sign. And I def I went in, definitely went in on that day. Um, but what I did is on my way out that day, that afternoon, um, I actually upgraded to a um, yes, no, those were the years I upgraded to an annual pass and um, so they went from the fancy plastic card and they they gave me this little paper thing but they gave me this little booklet, a little paper pass guide with all the um, apparently this is a special thing because it's oh I actually I never read the inside of this <laughs> uh, it says happy birthday celebrate with us we're making it easier for you to magnify your special moments in wonderful Disney style this is the year to gather with all the people who make you the happiest and celebrate at the place where dreams come true. Since birthdays are the one celebration we all share, let's start with a magical birthday present. On your birthday in 2009, you can receive free admission to one of the theme parks of the Walt Disney World Resort, or if you use your pass, for admission on your birthday, you can choose one of the following magical treats. A birthday fast pass exchange card, which I didn't do, for a certain number of attractions at the theme park you visit on your birthday, or a birthday fun card in an amount equal to the price of a one-day Magic Your Way base ticket for you, to use for select merchandise, I participate in locations at the blah 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 blah. blah. Um, da, 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 da. So anyway, it just goes on and on. There's dining discounts. It lists all the places, all the places, all the merchandise locations, car rental discount, tours and experience discount. This is the annual pass holder booklet, and it tells all about all of the things here. And they even give you a couple of blank pages on the end for notes. What's this? Oh, so these are all of the tickets. You want all the fine print, Russ? to make me read all of the fine print. Okay. Visit DisneyWorld.com slash celebrate for details and to register your birthday. Offer does not... Oh, this is the first asterisk. Asterisk. Asterisks. Offer does not entitle pass holders or multi-day ticket holders to cash refund or credit. Visit DisneyWorld.com slash celebrate for details details and to register your birthday. Apparently DisneyWorld.com slash celebrate is the place to go. Then we've got the plus symbol. The number of birthday fast pass exchange cards issued per day is limited and may not be available after 11 a.m. Valid theme park admission required. Fast pass benefit for birthday celebrant and up to five members of his, her party. And then here's the double asterisk. Ticket price at gate, excluding tax. 
Oh, where was that from? Oh, where it talks about the uh, birthday fun card in an amount equal to the price of a one-day Magic Your Way base ticket. Then they give you the double asterisks. Isk, asterisk. And um, it's the ticket price. It denotes it as the ticket price at gate. Excluding tax, adults receive card in the amount of an adult ticket. Children ages 3 to 9 receive card in the amount of a child ticket. Ticket. For terms and conditions of the card and details on participating locations, visit DisneyParks.com slash birthday fun card. So that is, um, yes, <clears throat> anyway. So there's the fine print on that page. Yes. So anyway, I have got also. Oh, hi, Dion. Howdy. Gobbletastic greetings. So. Oh, okay. So these are, these are some like tickets. Disney like tickets. One day tickets that I've got in throughout the years. Let's see when I went. I went on April the 7th of 2001. There's the ticket I got. Is a one park for one day. In 2001, it was $48 plus tax to go for one day. One park, one day. Forty-eight bucks. Oh, to have those prices again. Um. Then I went on April the twenty-ninth of two thousand eight. Um. This was a four-day one park theme park per day ticket that I got. There's Mickey Mouse, where everyone screams at the sight of a mouse. I'm sure they meant that better than it sounds to me. Um, well, that's fun. I could have used a little more color on that one, but you can see... Uh, Huey, Dewey, Louie there on the left. Minnie Mouse. Mickey's in more color. Uh, Goofy's there. Donald's there. Daisy's over there. And I've got another one of that same design. Here, this was... This looks like it was... Looks like I had to get a replacement because this was, oh, this must have been the first one that I lost and then found maybe, maybe, um, because this is in February 12th of 2008. So apparently I was going a little bit in 2008. And then here is a blast from the past. This ticket says where everyone is happy, no matter what their name is. And as you can see, the dwarfs are going down Splash Mountain right there. And this was a one day, one theme park uh, ticket. This was in uh, March the 20th of 2007 is when I went for this part, this one. But that was that, that was that one. Really, really interesting. Yes, Don, I am uh, joining, trying to join the late night. Um, so, you know, the late night gang um, on nights that I just can't sleep and I don't feel tired, then I will, I will go in. Not every night that I can't sleep, but, um, once a, maybe once a, a week. 
So anyway, those were fun. Those cards were fun. Let me see here. It's 12. So I'm, like, I'm going to go for another maybe 15-ish minutes, and then I'll sign off for tonight. So, yeah, paper park tickets, and I keep them in, of all things, a disc, paper disc envelope. Here is an old Animal Kingdom guide map. They've got Everest there on the front. And on the back, they've got Kodak. Capture the adventure. Kodak. I actually got, not this exact one, but like the, um, you know, the little cameras, the one-time use cameras that you get. It has like 26 or 27 um, pictures on it and you 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 know you click away and then you go spend a fortune at the CVS to um, to see how many good shots you actually got so here we go on the inside you've got how you do the fast pass how you have your photo pass uh, a little Kodak one-time use doohickeys. Um, then you've got pack map. There's uh, Camp Mini Mickey down there. Right down there, Camp Mini Mickey. Where, um, sorry, I can't see what's on the screen, so I'm looking underneath. peek -a I am there. And the rest of... The park. And on the map here, it talks about Mickey's Jammin' Jungle Parade. Roll with Mickey and the gang as they blaze new trails in a caravan of crazy safari vehicles. Fun, fun, fun. So yeah, so this is like the other map I had out earlier. Really, the only major change on here is that uh, Mickey at Camp Mickey Mini is now Pandora. Two thousand four book of pictures, cool. So that's where they used to have. Um, The um, a, um, Festival of the Lion King used to be over here. Of course, now it's over in the Africa section in the Harambe Village. Yeah, Don. Um, I suspect that they could very well be gone, or they could be something that you've got to pay for. And then in the probably near future. But this thing, they don't do this anymore, is the Times Guide. We're talking what has the special hours, restaurant hours, the hours of the other parks. Um, and then on the back, they've got the little, the show times. A little chart of where, um, when and where and what you can uh, see. They've got the character greetings, atmosphere, entertainment. There, they've got the parade listed, show times. Over here, oh, oh that, oh, wrong side. Other, other left. Um, right here, I don't know if you can see that very well. Anyway, that's the Animal Kingdom. I've got maps for Hollywood Studios. 
Amer the American Idol experience. Yeah, the Noah, I've, I haven't been to SeaWorld in a while, but I know, I know they've done away with uh, paper maps at like some of the zoos, a couple of the zoos that I've visited in the area over the past couple of few years. Um, they have the, the picture, they have like the, the board, the map that you, they say, they have a little thing. Um, take a picture of this on your smartphone and so you know where you're at. So it's probably the same kind of thing um, that uh, Russ just said. SeaWorld did that for conservation reasons. Um, that is that the some of the zoos that have done anyway. Here's um, this is Epcot. I'll show Epcot, um, the Times Guide here, special hour, hours, greeting times, and then here's the Here's the list, the list of things that happen around the World Showcase. Let's see what else I've got in here. I should probably show the, uh, the Hollywood Studios one. I apparently I don't have the times for here but we've got the block party bash it talks about the block party bash here it has this high school musical three um, show when that was a new thing back then. It says, join the Wildcats for a rockin' new concert celebration. I actually remember that show. I don't know, does anyone remember going to Hollywood Studios and seeing the High School Musical 3 um show that came out it was kind of like the um old school kind of like an old school um one second <clears throat> it was kind of like an old school um, cavalcade thing. There was like one float that came out of um, by the entrance here and then it would go down um, Hollywood Boulevard to like in front of where the hat it was and then um, it would they would like there would be like singers on it, dancers, and they would be doing, they would stop there. And that would be kind of like, they would do like a show um, with, you know, the music from the, the High School Musical 3 movie. And then they would um, roll back. Um, there. And of course, this map doesn't have the, um, this is way before um, Galaxy's Edge, um, Toy Story Land. <clears throat> really, really. Um, yeah, and the American Idol experience. 
Who remembers the American Idol experience? I went to that at least once. Probably went there twice that I remember. But um yeah. It was it was okay. It was okay. But I um I feel like it was smart that they replaced it with uh, Frozen. So let me see what else I've got here. It is almost 1230. Let's see what else I can kind of show that's a blast from the past. This is fun. I wish I'd take better care of this. Um, this I went, this was in May sometime in 2009 and they were having Star Wars weekends and I got this um, piece of art, this, uh, this sign, this autographed picture of from Matthew Wood who is the voice of General Grievous in episode three so this was fun it's just his um um autograph it might be time for me to sign off soon um but anyway i got this picture from him very very fun i got what else i got in here I don't remember where I got this. Oh, I think I got this. I'm not sure where I got this, but it's a note from Don Ducky Williams. It says, thank you for being part of our pass holder family. And it has got Mickey Minnie there with balloons and I should frame it I don't know where where I would do with the frame um, after that but I really should I really should um, frame it and this too I should maybe do this sorry guys I'm having last the last past week Um, my allergies have started kicking up again. So I'm sniffling. My eyes are, um, watery. Um, okay, hold on here. But I think that other, that Mickey and Minnie art came in. Where is it? I know I didn't get rid of them. Here we go. What's this? Oh. Okay. So I got during the year. Does anyone remember? The Mickey Monitor. This is like a quarterly um, newsletter magazine thing that they would send out with uh, updates from the parks. This is the summer. And it was an exclusive kind of update on what's happening in the parks over the season. And it's four pass holders 
and um, this uh, talks about this here talks about Star Wars weekends offerings there um, uh, stitches supersonic celebration in uh, Magic Kingdom Tomorrowland I should show you the last page. Here is Mickey and Minnie there. Um, and as um, in Star Wars, you've got Chewie there. Why am I a pass holder? That's like a, a testimonial type of a thing from a, an actual... Uh, oh, apparently they had an essay contest. So this is from a Jennifer Sykes of Vieira, Florida, was the latest winner of the Pass Holder Essay Contest. Very fun, very fun. Um... And just got a whole bunch of news in here about it's a, a page here about the Garden Flower and Garden Festival, um, Epcot, the concert series, Disney Water Parks. Oh, this might be fun to do a Disney Water Parks true or false quiz. That'll be something for a future stream. Um, so anyway, that's the so this is the summer of twenty two thousand nine. Had um, um, those guys. It's the allergies, those guys, you know them. Incredibles. It's incredible that I remembered those. Then in the fall, we've got, I won't go through all of it here, but you've got Chippendale on the front in the leaves. Then the winter. I've got the winter one. So then the winter one, you've got Mickey and Minnie with Santa Claus there. You see what's on here. Here are a couple blasts from the past. The, the lights on the uh, Cinderella castle they were still doing those the castle dream lights over here then you've got the osborne um festival of the osborne family spectacle of dancing lights right there i saw that one year uh 2009, I think, is the year, actually. Lots, lots of great lights there. That street there, that section of the park, it was crowded, though. I had to fight people to get in, fight people to get through, fight people to get out. It was miserable as far as the people. But the lights were amazing. The lights were amazing. And let's see. This is a... Uh, just lots of fun things. That's the, with the winter one. Then we've got in spring of 2010... We've got this fun. It's got the Muppets 
as the first volunteers. And of course, that goes into the next year. This is um, in 2010, they did opportunities for people to uh, volunteer different places. And then you could then re kind of, um, you had some kind of a forum or whatever proof that you volunteered. And then you could go for um, a day, get a free park day in 2010. So I didn't do that, but I remember my the rest of my family did. Did that and they, they got to go. So I didn't go with them because I think that was after my pass had run out and I didn't renew at that point. Um, so anyway, just flipping through here. Yeah, that was a fun. Those are fun. The Mickey monitors, very fun. Put those here. So anyway, that's some of the stuffs. that I've got in my trinket um, box. All right, oh, let me show this. I'm not gonna get this all the way out, but I'll show the, the front of it. Walt Disney World playing cards. Got the gang there with the castle. And look what's on the back. Yeah, oh, Tina, that's right. Miss Piggy is your, is you. On the back, you've got Splash Mountain represented within the, the deck of playing cards. else. This one is the um, stunt show, the motor stunt show there that uh, used to be at Hollywood Studios. Some of the cards are totally blank and some of them have the um, different picture. Let me find one more picture. Just one more. Just one more picture. One more picture. What's this one? Oh. This is Illuminations. Illuminations. Reflections of Earth. One more. Just one more, just one more, just one more, just one more, just one more. Oh, Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and the gang on holiday, on holiday at Epcot. Focus, dude, dude. Focus, dude, dude, focus, dude. Could just be my eyes, because my eyes are starting to water. But my st stupid allergies. Anyway, you've got Goofy there on the left. Uh, Pinocchio. Mick, Minnie, Mickey. King Louie and um, the mouse. They're from Cinderella. In front of that bus, the red bus, do you remember seeing the buses in Epcot? Oh, 
I remember seeing the bus. I think I remember riding a bus in Epcot. One more. One more. I have got... Ah, I've got a few treasures, Don. I've got a few treasures. One more card. One more. Ah. Never... What's this say? Never the same fear twice at Hollywood Tower Hotel at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And with that, that's going to be the last picture. And I have never actually used these. You remember the buses, Russ? Yeah, that was... Um, remember the buses. Okay. So we're going to put this away. Put the lid back on. So anyway, I don't remember when I got these. This was probably... During the 2009 year. But anyway, yeah, those are... Keep this one out. I'm going to keep this out. I showed this earlier. But I'm going to keep this out. And I'm going to... Put this in water and expand it all right everyone well i went live a little longer than i originally thought i was going to do but thank you all for coming in here for drumsticks after dark um i may i might go live this might be a sunday thing it might be a Monday thing. We'll just see how I'm, how I'm feeling next Sunday night. If I feel, feeling tired around eleven, um, then I'll go to bed. If I'm not, then I'll go live. And it's gonna be pop up. I set, um, I set up the stream tonight, just because it was the first one. And um, let me see here. Um, they have the Epcot. Let me read the chat for a second. Russ says, hold on, let me come back here. Sorry. Russ says, ooh, 2009 was the first year you came as a Disney Studios employee. Employee. Where did you work, Russ? Because, um, so that would have been what was, uh, well, that would have been what was um, Hollywood Studios. Is that what that? Because I during two thousand April of two thousand nine to April of two thousand ten is when I had my pass um, that year, and I was going to all the parks. I don't know if I went down to uh, Downtown Disney much, if at all. I don't know if I would have. I probably just went to. Uh, the parks. I might have visited a couple of the resorts, but um, oh, in Kentucky. Okay, okay, okay. Rob Fuzz has the video of the omnibus in New Jersey, New Jersey Beach. Tina's on a vicious cycle. What vicious cycle? Oh, the like button. Okay. Um, Dean has a blooming treasure chest. The um, yeah, Russ. That might have. That's probably what that was. I know that um, there were a uh, several different like. Um, opportunities that you could do like volunteer work uh, at a certain place. I don't remember 
all the details. I know that you you volunteered um, for a, a day or a certain number of hours, and then you could you could us uh, go have a free day. I'm not sure. I don't remember. It's been uh, well, it was 2010. Um, I don't remember. There had to have been some kind of a a form or something that they had to get. But anyway, my family did that. They had a fun day at Magic Kingdom. Um, let's see. Yeah, Don, I wish I wish uh, you were able to get passes. All right. Well, let me come back down here. All right. Well, again, thank you guys for coming in. This might be a Sunday night thing again. This might be a Monday night thing. Um, it definitely won't be Tuesday or Thursday since I'm already stream uh, my other two shows on um, on those uh, nights. So it won't be Tuesday, Thursday. Saturdays pretty saturated with a lot of streamers, so I'm thinking the two nights um, that are most likely that I'll be live are like on a Sunday or a Monday. A uh, Wednesday at eleven might be a thing. We'll just see. We'll just see how things go. Um, Thank you, everyone, for coming in. Uh, if you're watching the replay, if you watch the replay of this, uh, thanks for lasting through the whole thing. I hope all my trinkets were, um, were, weren't were boring at all. Uh, Tuesday, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the new Mandalorian series. Um, things we hope to see. In the new series, then we'll also go into uh, maybe some other Disney Plus uh, shows, talking about maybe not a lot, um, because I haven't watched a lot on Disney Plus lately, uh, especially like the new things like Wakanda Forever. I still want to trying to get around to seeing. Uh, among other things, several things. I've just got a whole list. Um, a lot of the just the Disney classics. I haven't watched any of the original Disney classics like Bambi. Um, I watched the Jungle Book recently. Um, that's probably I watched that last week. That was a lot of fun. Um, what was the other one? Um, oh, well, that's interesting. Well, see, Russ, I'm usually going to bed um, on Tuesday nights, like early. That's usually like a tired night for me. I have tired nights, and then I have up nights, and this is an up night uh, for me. Um, but that's a neat idea. Um, I could rename it, but I kind of like the drumsticks after dark name, but that's, um, you know, I could do that. Um, so anyway, we're going to talk about, um, Mandalorian and beyond. And I've got that stream set up on Thursday. I am continuing. Continuing and finishing um, my Mandalorian, the Mandalorian story that I, well, it's under a pile, but I started it last Thursday and I read about half of it. So I'm going to read the second half on Thursday, kind of recapping the uh, first season of the Mandalorian in storybook form. 
I dropped something on the floor. I don't know. Anyway, have a great night, everyone. I'll see you around. Keep your notifications on. Bop the like button. Um, I need to go do some eye drops. Take some more Claritin. Um, I took one earlier before the stream. Um, anyway, don't get allergies. That's the don't get allergies. Anyway, have a great night, and I'll see ya. Have a great week, and I'll see ya. Take care. Thank you, everybody.